I think that environmental toxins are quite possibly contributing to the rise in autism that we're seeing. The brain cells are very susceptible to toxins during the time of development from the period in utero through early childhood. This is because the brain is changing very rapidly. The whole body is going from just one cell that was formed from the union of the egg and the sperm to an organism with multiple different types of cells that carry out different functions. Each of these cells has to have signals that let it know what it's supposed to do and what proteins it's supposed to produce. It's like saying that each cell has the same book of recipes, but there are specific instructions that tell it what page to turn to to produce that recipe. Environmental toxins can quite possibly interfere with the mechanisms that tell the cells what page to turn to. These are known as epigenetic changes. Methylation is what tells the body what page to turn to to start producing a recipe. And we know that some environmental toxins can affect this process. The histone binding process involves unwinding um, the genetic information so that those pages can be read and so that that recipe, so to speak, can be produced. We feel that environmental toxins may be affecting things that way as well. And environmental toxins can also be um, creating direct changes to the DNA, so making actual errors in the cookbook. So as the brain is developing, these changes can take place and environmental toxins can mimic some of the hormones and other signals that tell the brain what to do. So this is how environmental factors together with genetic changes can be responsible for the rise in autism. Mm -hmm.